All right, for all my newbies, guys, once you have your digital booth, you're probably gonna wonder, how do I keep people from exiting the app and exploring the rest of the apps while you are out and about dropping off other digital photo booths? I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today in this video. Now, it's quite easy. You can leave the iPad inside of the booth the entire time, and this is what you wanna do. You wanna come over to settings, and then you wanna scroll down over to accessibility, and accessibility, you're gonna to wanna to go right down to where it says guided access, right here. And make sure that, that it's turned on just like that. And then you're gonna set up a passcode right up here. Set up that passcode, okay? Once you have your uh, passcode set up, I don't use a touch ID because as you guys can see, there's no button right here. And I don't wanna to go to the troubles of removing the iPad from the digital booth because that means I have to remove all these screws, about like eight screws to get that done and that's not fun. So go ahead and just use a passcode right up there. After that, you're gonna go to your time limits and you just leave everything unchecked, like I have it right there. Uh, next, you wanna do the accessibility shortcut, you wanna to toggle that on and then display auto lock, leave it to never. So once that's set up now, this is what you can do. You're gonna go back and I have a little assistive touch right here. By the way, if you guys wanna launch this virtual assistive touch button, this is how you do it. You go over to settings and then you're gonna to go to touch right here. Well, first you go to accessibility after settings, and then you hover down to where it says touch, and you activate the assistive touch right here. Mine is on right now, okay? Now, once you guys are in the application for my, uh, for me, Snapic is what I'm using. You're gonna come over here on your iPad, and the little top home button on top of the iPad that you guys usually see right there, that home button right there, you're gonna triple click it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and stick my finger in here and triple click it one two three and then you guys are going to get this to show up right here all right so now what you guys want to do next is click guided access boom all right so now it's locked which means that they can't swipe here and they can't move anything around all they can really do is use the actual settings that are that's offered on the actual app so i can do a still gif or birth so if i go to still i take photos i can even hit cancel if i need to and if i want to exit i'm gonna need that password so this is uh something that i wanted to share with you guys i don't think i've seen any videos out there on um, people explaining how to use this particular feature to save us time from removing the ipad entirely out of the actual booth this is something you can just do by you know i guess going through those settings and hitting that three times now if you want to navigate outside of the app just do the reverse process go back here and triple click the top button on the ipad i'm going to do it right here right now one two three and now i just can remove here the guided axis like that and then i'm going to have to put in my passcode again here Okay, the passcode is removed and it's going to ask me to either end or resume the guided access. I want to end, right, and confirm that it's in. Now I can swipe up and I can navigate to the screen. I hope this video helps you guys. If it did, please hook it up with a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck on your next event.